this is what happens when you don't have a setup that's decent. Could you not? I don't know if this is straight or not, but we're gonna go with it because we're already 45 seconds in. Um, I don't know if you can hear the people in my corridor, um, but they're there. Um, I'm not gonna tell them to be quiet because it's four o'clock and they're allowed to be loud. So if you can hear them, I'm sorry, but I doubt they'll be in the corridor for the whole entirety of this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is a miserable Wednesday in Glasgow and it's freezing. It's supposed to snow next week. It's actually supposed to snow on my birthday. So um, yeah, it's really cold at the moment, but I had um, a kind of free afternoon-ish from about, well now, which is 4.16. Um, so I thought I'd just film a little video for you. So. I'm gonna film today my January favourites of this year. I wanna start doing favourites again because I love watching favourites videos. I get really good ideas for um, products to try out and series and to watch and foods to try. So I'm just gonna start doing them again because I really like them. It would be good if I could know what my first thing was though. Oh, it's here. Okay. So my first product is this. It is mucky for one thing because it's been my makeup bag for the whole of December this is like a December and January favorite but I had to just put it in somewhere it is the Tanya Burr matte red liquid lipstick in the shade Santa's little helper oh, I still miss Christmas it's February it's my birthday in under a week and I still miss Christmas so it's this gorgeous like matte red color um, I'll swatch it for you. I've got foundation on this hand, but I'll swatch it for you anyway. Oh, all her pro all Tiny Bear products smell lovely. They smell like sweets. I think that's like foam bananas is that kind of smell. But that is the colour. Um, obviously that's still liquid, it's not dry yet. But I've been wearing that for the entirety of Christmas and throughout January's a statement lip. It's just a really gorgeous red colour. I'm so happy I bought that calendar. That calendar in general should be a favourite for like December. It was such a good calendar, such good quality. And I've got more, I've actually got three Tanya Burr products to put in this favourites because I just think her products are great and they're affordable and it's nice to support, to support a brand that, it's nice to support a brand of which the YouTuber I actually also really like. So I was really chuffed with that nice festive colour and nice bold lip. Um, next are these two give them a shake these two liquid eyeliners from oh god sorry I'm using natural light so it's always a bit of a tricky one these two liquid eyeliners there's a hair on my sleeve from um Tanya Burr's advent calendar in December as well I always put this on if I'm in a rush and I just want a little bit of glam on my day like I would put it on today but I was in a very much I was very much in a big rush this morning to get to class but it's a silver one and a kind of rose gold one like a coppery one even and i just love them and i haven't worn glitter eyeliner since i was legitimately about 13. um but i just think they're really subtle and really gorgeous and if you want a little bit of like glittery glam to add to your look you can use those and it's just really quick and easy um but i'm a really big fan of those and my last tanya burr product <laughs> i'm a fan can you tell is the tanya burr selfie sculpt eyebrow pencil stylist thing so on one end you've got a spoolie brush please focus a little spoolie brush and on the other end you've got like this little like charcoal -y pencil thing this is in the lightest color I think it's called I think it's just blonde or light or I think it's just light medium dark <coughs> excuse me either way I've got the lightest color um and I just think like You'll have to excuse my skin's not amazing like it looks all right from far away but it's not great so soz um but my eyebrows just wow i love being a ghost they just look really natural and it's just easy to fill them in you just like brush them through put on some product brush them through again and you're good to go um and when i run out of this i will 100 percent be repurchasing another the whole of the selfie sculpt range is really good the eyeliner and the mascara i use daily but the eyebrows just like, if it's easy to do an eyebrow, then I'm gonna like it, so. And it's cheap and affordable as well, it's really good quality, so I would get one. This is like the color when it's dried a little bit more. Okay, that's the color when it's dried. So yeah, really nice red color. 
if the light changes i'm really sorry i'm just working with natural light and it's very overcast at the moment so that happens so i'm really sorry about that the next on my list of january favorites is a present i got for christmas from father from father christmas himself and they are levi jeans i got two pairs of levi's in um, my stocking so i'm a very lucky girl and i am obsessed with them they are just the best fit of jean i've ever had in my life ever i tried these on first in um santa's workshop they're just these really long blue jeans i haven't had jeans i said this in my wardrobe clear out i haven't had jeans this color in a really long time um and i tried them on and i was like oh they're a waist, they're a waist 28 and a length like 32 they're never going to be long enough or fit around my bum and they literally fit me like a glove they're perfect they're the most comfortable jeans and i was just in awe i was like oh my god this is it this is the life altering moment where i find jeans that fit um and these also are amazing they're like more dark blue color again really long really comfortable there is something digging into my neck but they're just the best jeans it, and, and they are pricey these were about 70 pounds each according to father christmas but they are so worth it i will wear these day in day out for the next couple of years like i won't be buying jeans in this style anyway for a really long time because they're just such good quality so if you are near excuse me a levi store and need some jeans and you've got some bob to spare or you've got a birthday coming up buy some levi jeans i've got many i've got a lot of gas going through me at the moment that sounds really grim but i just mean that i keep going like excuse me so i'm sorry about that cool the next thing is trackies um for christmas i asked for a lot of jogging bottoms because i am doing a very physical course i do musical theater so i dance and act a lot which requires movement and i don't have a lot of decent trackies so i got some these are just some i've got some that i'm wearing now which are the oh my god my hamstrings are so painful they're the adidas ones you can just see the little stripes i've got these lonsdale ones that are just like they're more of like snugging at home i'll probably put these on later but i think i'm gonna wear them to my ballet class tomorrow as well and i've got these more like trendy fashionable ones from top shop they're just like this with red and white stripes down the sides like that um they're a teeny bit short for me but i don't mind it just means i don't trail on the floor which is also a plus um and i wore this the other day with this levi's t-shirt i got for christmas and a bomber jacket and my hair like this and hoops and i just look like sporty spice and it was really funny um but i really like those so yes a big fan cool my next thing is material bras so um i think it's like a stigma people are like oh if you've got big boobs you can't wear material bras and i'm like i've got like av not average so <laughs> i've got boobs proportioned to my body but i'm just so over padded bras they're so uncomfortable i hate the wiring and the only reason I wear them is if I'm wearing a top where I'm like, oh, my boobs need a bit more shape, I guess. And then I'll wear a padded bra. I've got, and the only padded bras I really wear is if I need a tan bra, if I'm wearing like a white or like meshy kind of thin blouse. Or I'll wear my Victoria's Secret bras that I bought last year in Brighton because they are so comfortable and they fit me so well. But on the whole, I don't buy padded bras anymore. I recently just got rid of a load. So I wear material bras. Yes, I'm showing my bras on the internet. It's 2018, get a grip. So I got this one for Christmas. This is just a few that I've got recently. Um, these are all from, well, I don't know where this one's from actually. And I cut the label out. I think it's accessorize. This is all, and I got these in matching sets as well. Okay, this one's having a hoolie. This is also from accessorize. It's so gorgeous. And I've got like the pink version of this as well. And this one I think is from Topshop. And I'm annoyed because I left the, it's a matching set and I left the pants at home, which is really annoying, but it's a front opener. And it's like this. It's like a racer back. So material bras are the one. If you do not want padded bras anymore, no matter how big or small your boobs are, get material bras. Even if you just wear them like, if you feel like you have to wear a bra all the time, like, and you want comfy ones, just get them. I promise you it's the best investment you'll make. I just, I wear them all the time. They're amazing. Um, going on to accessories. I don't have millions of favorites, but saying that this video is 11 minutes long already. So there you are. Okay, so my next favorite, oh, itchy head. Um, I got a lot of big statement earrings over Christmas. And I've also accumulated some. I just, oh, I love big statement earrings. I got these in summer. 
aren't they amazing? They're just pink pom poms with pearls at the top. Um, they're like little pom poms. They kind of remind me of like Ariana Grande's perfume pom poms. I just really like them. They're really cute. I'm just going to show you what I've got because I love them. These are like little, people keep calling them lampshades or like duster thingies from Accessorize. And then I got these two, which are quite similar from for Christmas from various family and friends. And yeah, they're just really nice. They just really add to any piece you're wearing. And if you just want something statementy with like, if you're wearing like jeans and like a plainish kind of top, I wore like those black ones on Sunday to Edinburgh with Molly. And I wore black Joni's, a yellow polo, a yellow polo neck that Molly got me for my birthday and a, a big black earrings and a Baker Boy hat and it looked great. But yeah, I really, really enjoy big earrings at the moment. And if you are a friend and don't know what to get me, big earrings is something good because I really, really like them. I also love big hoops as well. Next thing, and this is so random and I've only got one left in this packet. They're multivitamins, they're Bassett's multivitamins for adults. I used to have these all the time as a kid, like the kids' chewy ones. Um, and I started taking multivitamins recently as part of this like four week challenge thing I did with um, a fitness brand at home. And fitness brand? A fitness club, I think it's called, I don't know. Um, but we started taking multivitamins at the start of our challenge along with vitamin D. I've just been really enjoying taking multivitamins because I loved them as a kid and I love them now. They're, li they're like little strawberry flavoured chewy gummies and I just really, really like them. So staying healthy and enjoying yourself. It's great. Um, the next thing is these. These are grenade protein bars. Currently I've got peanut nutter and fudge brownie oh the joys of living in halls um yeah so i really really like these they're really yummy i put them in the microwave and like melt them a little bit so they're like a pudding um and it's just good to get your protein up and i love i can't not have something sweet after dinner i just have to so um i always have one of those after dinner and i save like some calories for the end of the day and i just have one of those and it just ups my protein and they're really tasty so if you're looking to up your protein um i would recommend those because they're really good and i should probably i want to try some others like the quest bars i've had those before but i didn't really like them but i think if i microwave them then they'll be nice so i need to try some more and if you have any recommendations for like protein bars or health bars please let me know because i don't know which ones to buy and i don't want to waste my money on ones that are gross <laughs> so any recommendations would be great okay i've also got two tv shows that i have been watching religiously for the last month the first one is peaky blinders i've actually dropped peaky blinders at the moment i'm going to start watching it again for another program that i'm currently watching just because i feel like i needed something easy to watch anyway i'll just stick to peaky blinders for now peaky blinders is so good if you need a new series if you want to like if you want some action some violence some gore some clever story writing some amazing acting and so cool characters watch Peaky Blinders my brother watched it started watching it ages ago and I was like oh it's just a program it like kind of watches it's whatever and then I watched one episode with Matt's family it was like the last episode of season three so I always know what happens um around Christmas time and I was like oh actually this is really good I'm really enjoying it I want to know more and then Matt's my, my boyfriend Matt started watching it and then I was like, oh, I'll watch it. I'll just watch the first episode, see what I think. And I loved it. And I'm obsessed. I'm on the start of season two. But I kind of dropped it for this other series I'm watching at the moment. Because I always do that. I watch a little bit and drop it. Watch a little bit of something else and drop it. And then go back to it. So I do need to finish watching Peaky Blinders. Because it's so good. If you need a new series, please watch Peaky Blinders. Like, the acting is phenomenal. It's so good. The other series is Friends because Friends came back onto Netflix and I was really ill a couple of weeks ago when I filmed my wardrobe clear out video actually that's when I started watching it that was two or three weeks ago and I'm on season I'm halfway through season six like it's not okay it's just something easy to have on in the background but also to watch it's just nice and comforting it kind of reminds me of home and my childhood and I'm just really really enjoying it and I'm flying through it I reckon I'll probably be finished with the entire series um the entire seasons and series um in like the next few weeks it's bad but um, i'm really enjoying watching that at the moment so that's something else i've been loving through january and i also watch it while i work out segue into the next topic i 
have really, oh, I'm so out of breath. I really have enjoyed working out this month. I've done, this is a little, a little bit of promo, I've done um, a four week bikini body challenge with physique transformations at home in Jersey, Channel Islands. I've mentioned them before and I've done this four week challenge where you basically had to stick to a calorie number which was worked out for you and it's not like oh god you're eating under your calories and you're going to get skinny really badly it's not like that's worked out properly by people who know what they're doing and have been trained to know what they're doing um and they work out how much you should eat in the day to lose fat or lose weight and then they give you exercises like four it was like four workouts for a week um as well as incorporating like 10,000 steps a day which i do because i dance every other day and I walk everywhere and I've got a very active course. Um, I lost weight in four weeks. People have been telling me that I look slimmer, that I look healthier, and it's really nice. I've honestly, I'm not gonna lie, that the eating has been really a struggle for me because I'm an eater. Like, I'm not someone that's like, oh, I won't finish that. Like, I eat big portions and I love to eat food. Um, but I've lost weight, I feel healthier, feel great. But it's not just that. The exercise side has been, such a benefit not just physically and making me stronger and i can see that i'm more toned but mentally getting up at 7 30 and working out before school for the last two weeks especially has been a godsend for my mental health i haven't felt as anxious excuse me <laughs> gross i haven't felt anxious for what feels like forever like not really anyway um i've not felt as stressed i've not felt as sad i've not felt as homesick I think if every, I said this the other day, if every le if every day started with a dance class or exercise like I've been doing, everyone would be in a better mood and feel more productive and full of energy. After I've worked out, I feel so productive. So having that at the start of my day or a part of my week has just made me such a better person. Um, so I know people don't like to exercise because I, I'm, I'm usually one of those people that's like, oh, I'm so tired, I can't be bothered, it's the end of the day, it's five o'clock, it's too early, it's 6 a.m., I don't want to. If you suffer, suffer with anxiety or you're really down and struggling with January, February blues, I would, I would honestly do some kind of exercise because it's been the, it's been the best thing for me for the last month. Because like, this whole January month has been really, really, really hard for me um, for many factors of reasons. But being able to exercise and get out all that crap negative energy has made me feel a lot more positive. So exercise has been like probably my top favorite of the whole month which is mental because i like to eat food and not move so i'm really really happy about that okay that's my whole video it's currently 21 minutes long so that just goes to show that i still waffle okay right i'm gonna leave you there um i don't know when this video is gonna go up i've got like streams of videos coming and i've just edited a vlog with molly and i'm actually filming a collab this weekend with one of my friends on my course so I'm not sure when this is going up, but wherever you are, whatever day it is, have a lovely rest of your day. I hope you had a nice day if it's the end of your day. And please give this video a th video, <laughs> video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more favourites, who's just messaged me? Skinny dip. Oh, I've ordered a laptop case. That's probably what, probably why. Um, what was I saying? Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more favourites, if you have any recommendations for what did I say earlier, health bars or makeup or anything, please put them in the comments below. Um, if you filmed a favourites video recently, let me know and I'll watch it. I love, oh, I've got an itchy eye. Um, I want to be able to support the YouTube community and watch people's videos and find new channels. So let me know if any of your channels below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I know the quality of my videos aren't amazing. I don't have massive fancy lights or a massive amazing camera with a blurred background, but I try really hard and I would love to get a following that will give me feedback and constructive comments and rah, rah, rah. I'm waffling if you can't tell. Um, and share this video if you enjoyed it or just share one of the videos if you enjoyed them, I don't know. And um, yeah, have a lovely rest of your week. Be positive, January's over, February's here. It's my birthday on Monday and it's Valentine's Day and it's also pancake day. You cannot go wrong. So I will see you when I see you. Love you all very much. Bye.